Today, we're going to talk about the A in aw and car and the EE -E diphthong in care. And these are, can be deceptively difficult if we're not careful. So, before we begin, just to let you know how you can most take advantage of these lessons or these videos, is that you repeat after me. I will provide a space for you to repeat the word or the phrase after me. And this is how you can benefit. Even better would be if you repeat this video during the week, and then best would be to record yourself and listen to your voice in comparison to my voice. All right. Let's begin. We're going to start with the AR. Excuse me. Um, Instagram has a different setup here. <laughs> All right, so let's begin with the car, AR sound, and you pronounce that in the back of your throat, R. So let's just say it's the ah, ah, it's in the very back, R, R. We're going to pronounce it with the R, A R. R, car, R. That's in the very back. So the throat is open, the mouth is slightly open, and it comes from the very back of the throat. All right, let's move on to particular sounds. The target sound is in the center. So let's, I'll do all three, and you repeat after me. Fur, far, for. Fur, far, for. Fur is what is hair on an animal. All right. Boar, bar, bear. Boar, bar, bear. The first word bore means I'm bored. It's not very exciting. I hope you're not bored in this video, in this lesson. Bore, bar, bear. Hurt, heart, hate. Hurt, heart, hate. Much, march, match. Much, march, match. All right, very good. Now let's do the next one deals with more of this practice, same sound, calm, We'll do one word at a time. Calm, card, card, cart, cart, star, star, starve, starve. If you're starving, you're very hungry. Start, start, harm, harm, have, halv, sorry, sorry, halv. And then the last one is ha half, half. Half. Very good. Let's move to the next slide. All right, I'll do each of these twice. Far, far, bar, bar, har, 
Mart, heart, march, march, card, card, star, star, start, start, charm, charm, chart, chart. So if you're charming, that means people like you. You have a very um, affectionate way of communicating. You're very charming. Let's move to care, air. It's sort of a similar, it's in the back of the throat. The mouth is slightly open and relaxed. Air, air. You hear it very deeply in the back of your throat. Air. Do you hear how it's open, not closed? Air. Air. You might have to practice that sound if you tighten your throat naturally. You want to gradually relax it and let the voice resonate or reverberate. The sound reverberate in the back of your throat. So let's look at the target sounds. Here we go. Bar, bear, beer. Bar, bear, beer. Now let's do this again. So you buy beer, the third one, in a bar, the first one. Bar, bear, beer. All right, the last two. Bear, beer. Bear, beer. All right, next. Shy, share, sure. Shy, share, sure. Shy, share, sure. Dead, dared, died. Dead, dared, died. Stars, stairs, stays. Stars, stairs, stays. One more time. Stars, stairs, stays. All right, next we have the, with the A-R spelling. So I'll do each word twice. Let's start from bear. Bear, bear, care, care, dare, dare, fair, fair, hair, Hair. Now that hair is a rabbit. It's a different spelling than this hair. Rare. Rare. Now this is really difficult. Listen again. Rare. 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 Very difficult. One of the most difficult words in the English language. Rare. 
rare, very difficult, scare, scare, share, share, spare, spare, square, square. Very good. Now we're going to go to some more with A-I-R spelling. So we have air. There's another word exactly the same with an H, air. And that means someone who inherits a, whatever you own after you die. So you die and whoever inherits or gets your money and possessions is your heir, H-E-I-R, -I that's your heir. All right, and if it's a female, we call her an heiress, heiress, E-S-S -S at the end. All right, chair, oh, let's do air again, air. Next, chair, chair. Fair, and then there's a homophone, fair. The first fair is something you have, uh, it's a big carnival. And the second fair is what you pay for a ticket. That's your fare on the metro or a public bus, any public transportation, you have to pay a fare. F-A-R-E, fair. All right, next, hair. Hair, pear, pear. So this pair is two of something. So we have a pair of gloves and a pair of shoes. These are the most common pairs in our life. Stairs, stairs. <clears throat> we walk up the stairs. And the second one is, he stares, or he is staring at me. To stare is to look intently without blinking or looking to the side. To stare. That's also a homophone. All right, let's go to the next. Oh. Excuse me. I'm a little bit lost here, so one second. All right, let's try here. Bear, bear, swear, swear. Tear, tear the paper, tear the paper, but watch this, a tear is the same spelling but different pronunciation, tears in my eyes, tear, so we have tear and tear, tear, tear. Next, we have where, where, what are you wearing? But if we add a Y, it becomes weary, weary. Weary means you're cautious, you're not sure, you're uncertain about something, you're weary. So we have where, weary, where, Weary. All right, let's move on to the next one. Homophones. These are different words with the same pronunciation. Air, air. Air, air. Bear, bear. Bear, bear. So we know the first bear, that's the animal. 
But the second bear is when, for example, you don't, a bear could be naked. If you don't have clothes on, you're bear. Babies, when they're born, are bear. Hair, hair. Hair, hair. This is hair, the first. The second one is a rabbit. Next, pear, pear. Pear, pear. And then we have there, there, there. There, there, there. And these are tricky. The first one is the possessive. Their car. Uh, the second one is over there. And then the third one is a contraction for they are. There, there, there. All the same. And in like fashion, when we add an S, there's, there's. There's, there's. Where, where, where. Where are you going? What are you wearing? Is that your software? So where are you going? What are you wearing? Is that your software? All right, very good. Now let's go to mixed sounds, mixed sounds of both of these. Here we go. Heart hat. Heart hat. She put her hand on her heart. Actually, it's here. I think it's here. She put her hand on her heart. All right, next. Nowhere, no way. Nowhere, no way. All right, this can be used. Tw there, the, both are possible here. There's nowhere to go. Everything is closed. There's nowhere to go. There's no way to go. We don't have a car. There's no way to go. We don't have a car. Fair, far. Fair, far. It isn't fair. You cheated. It isn't fair. And then, it isn't far. We can walk. It isn't far. Next, number four, part, port. Part, port. This is the main part of Athens. This is the main part of Athens. Next we have bear, beer. Bear, beer. That's a strong beer. That's a strong beer. Or, that's a strong bear. That's a strong bear. Number six, come calm. Come calm. Both words work in this sentence. She told me to come down. So I'm on the second floor. She told me to come down to the first floor. 
or she told me to calm down. You're too emotional. She told me to calm down. Relax. All right, and finally, we're going to do one tongue twister. We haven't done those in a while. So let's look at one tongue twister. Actually, two. There's hair in the air. There's hair in the air. There's hair in the air. <clears throat> do you hear how the words start to blend together? Listen. There's hair in the air. One more time, listen. There's hair in the air. And finally, they're sharing a glare with the hair and the bear. Now, to share a glare means you're looking at one another. You're both looking at each other. They're sharing a glare with the hare and the bear. So the hare or rabbit and the bear are looking at us and we're looking at them. They're sharing a glare with the hare and the bear. <clears throat> 